Well, it, it, first of all, you're dealing with a, a country that has a relatively sophisticated, widespread, and co-located uh, series of air defenses in civilian areas. Now, uh, American military power could suppress those defenses. I mean, if we wanted to, we could launch a series of airstrikes over a period of three or four weeks, uh, take out leadership targets, take out all of the commanders of Republican Guard units, go after the Assads, destroy infrastructure. You could do a shock and awe, but that doesn't solve the problem. First of all, if there's anybody left standing after that, you still face the problem of how you are going to control and put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Second, uh, Gaddafi had given up his weapons of mass destruction, his chemical and biological weapons. Those need to be secured somehow, because the last thing we need is a situation in which somehow those fall into uh, the hands of organizations, forget states, uh, who, who could ultimately deploy them or pieces of, of them against uh, the United States and, and its allies in the region. And then you have the, the, the issue of a large army, relatively well organized, uh, basically run by a minority group who understands that this is back to the wall time. And um, it's the notion that Sam Adams in our own revolution captured it. You're going to hang together or you're going to hang separately. And the Assad so far have, have chosen to maintain a, a, a real tight cohesion. So, yes, there are things we can do. We could arm the opposition much more uh, aggressively. But to do that, you'd have to create avenues into the country, get to have get the Turks, you'd have to secure parts of, of sovereign Syrian territory to stage from, to train the opposition in heavy weaponry, and you'd have to provide the kinds of armaments that would allow the Free Syrian Army, uh, which is better organized than it was when it first uh, began, to, to use these sorts of weapons. So I, I, once you start down that road, it seems to me, if we do, we need to understand what it is we're essentially agreeing to. We're agreeing to a situation which if one military step doesn't work, we're going to end up investing in another. And that, frankly, is my, is my concern here. If the regime doesn't crack quickly, then it seems to me you uh, in for a dime, in for a dollar.